Hey, it's Mr. Mice Guy, and uh, in this video, I am going to uh, show you guys an eight day old litter of um, a show mouse that I have. And the mother's a show mouse, the father is a, um, a Texel, but he is about 12.5% wild. So I'm going to show you the mother and the pups first, and then I'll show you the father. And um, one of the things, <clears throat> let's start with the mother. So this is the mother. Uh, I was told that she is from a show line of mice, uh, which I suspect to be true. <laughs> um, she's got large ears. Uh, her temperament is very, um, very calm. And it took me forever to get pups from her. Um, I don't know what was going on, but she didn't produce any pups for a very long time. But I have pups finally, so I'm very excited because I would love to keep some of her temperament and her ears. Uh, I would like mice that are have sort of her form and uh, her temperament, but have very long coats. That would be ideal. So I actually don't have a name for her even, uh, but she's my show mouse, so I guess that's her name. <laughs> yeah, so put her back. Oh, she peed a little bit. <clears throat> I also don't photograph her a lot, so she's not as accustomed to uh, being exposed to the lights and the camera and whatnot. Now, one of the things to kind of pay attention here is uh, uh, pay attention to is that so these pups are half show mice. They do have a little bit of wild ancestry, um, so they are. I would say that they are. Uh, I would consider them to be about six, six point two five, six and a quarter percent wild. Um, and so that'll affect their behavior. But also, I haven't been handling them regularly. I have handled them, um, but not daily. Uh, I probably only handled them, I don't know, twice maybe. So uh, we'll see how their behavior is. So let's put them right here. You know what? It's funny because I've handled them. The last couple times I handled them, they were like crazy. And now they seem pretty, <laughs> now they seem pretty average. But let's take a peek at them. <clears throat> Um, so it looks like uh, half of them are, I wasn't sure what was going on here, but I, maybe they're blue. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe blue. Um, they all have uh, tan bellies, but I can't tell if the belly is going to be actually tan or if it's going to be white. Because uh, when the tan gene is combined with certain dilution genes, the belly will be white. So... Um, so yeah, I guess their temperament's not too bad, but when, I, when I've handled them before, they were like just absolutely crazy. Um, so uh, yeah, the one that I am most interested in is this guy, I think. <clears throat> one of these two. Oh, I think it's actually this guy. Oops. I think it's actually this guy. Um, because of the, the shape of their head, I'm trying to get ones that have the, a wider, shorter looking head, um, but also have the, the curly coat. So this one's got curly coat, this is a smooth coat. Um, this one's actually a male, a lot of males in this litter. Um, I'm gonna say male. I'm gonna say male on this one. It's hard to multitask and make sure we keep them on the on the platform. And, and, and thankfully, this is not super high. I'd rather them not drop, but it's not super high. Um, this one, mm, not sure. So this one's female, definitely female. We don't have a lot of females in here. Male. Um, male. And uh, male. <laughs> so it looks like there might just actually be one female, which I didn't know. Um, so yeah, uh, so potentially, um, I'm thinking this guy right here is the keeper, uh, from this litter. I don't hate the blue jean. Uh, I actually kind of like it. I, I, these are my first solid blue or the self blue, they call it, um, mice that I've had. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um. They're kind of a nice silvery color. Move everybody down, down here. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about these guys. 
And part of this video, I wanted to show you how crazy they were because they hadn't received any conditioning like my other litter. Um, so you could like compare them to um, dopamine's litter on day eight. But um, yeah, actually, so but developmentally, they are an entirely different stage from dopamine's litter uh, on day eight. And so that's probably because this litter was smaller and they were getting better nutrition, also genetics. Um, because I did take a peek at dopamine's litter day eight and uh, they didn't even have fur at this stage. Um, but I think it's because the dopamine's uh, had too many pups and wasn't producing enough milk sort of deal. But these guys have been fed, um, have been fed pretty consistently since they were born. So that might explain some of their nice uh, chunky size. Um, but yeah, I want to show you their crazy behavior, but I guess, I guess they're not going to do it. Maybe the, the little bit of handling that I did do um, was was some conditioning. Uh, you can't ignore either that the uh, the tame uh, the the show mother um, seems to have some good genes as far as behavior, uh, so that that could be affecting uh, it as well. There's a lot of factors that go in into this. So yeah, so these guys are pretty good. I'm excited about them. It almost looks like. Um, I wonder if some of these are satin. It kind of looks like we might have some shininess going on. Um, the father definitely has a satin in his ancestry. Um, I don't know if he is a carrier for satin or not, though. But yeah, so put these guys back with their mom, and I'll show you the dad. And you can see all of them have uh, tan bellies. Um, and I, I would like to... Um, not have wild genes in my domestic mice and so these guys are going to be what i say 6.25 percent wild um, and what i'll do is i'm going to try to keep outbreeding them to full domestics until it gets down to one percent or below one percent um but uh because the father has some good genes that i want i couldn't not i could not use him So this is the father, also unnamed. I should come up with names for them because I am breeding them. Uh, and usually I like to have names for some of the breeders. Originally he wasn't going to be part of the, the whole project because he's got some of the wild ancestry and um, I've kind of decided to move away from some of that. Uh, but he's got a great coat. And so, but you can see how much more he pee He's already pooped twice and he's peeing on it. Uh, so his wild ancestry definitely affects um, some of his behavior. He's he can handle them, um, and he feels really good in your hand. He's he's pretty huge, um, and he's got this amazing coat, really nice uh, long coat. I think he might actually have the longest coat of any of my my mice currently. Uh, it's just an unfortunate that he has some of that uh, wild ancestry. Yeah, he's pretty cool, despite that. Um, you can see he's pooping like crazy. It's because he's uh, a little bit stressed about being on the platform. And it's not like he's never had pictures taken of him either. So um, I would I expect that, that is some sort of biological, uh, some biological factors there from his wild ancestry that are causing that. Um, it is pretty crazy to think that something like this has a full <laughs> wild mouse. Uh, just a few generations ago. Um, I'd have to double check, but it, it might even be like four generations <laughs> uh, ago that he, he had mice that were full. Oh, he smells the other mice, probably, the females. Um, it might just be like four generations. I'd have to double check, but yeah, that's crazy, right? To think that this guy has a full wild mouse uh, in his recent ancestry, but, um, but he does, and he's making a mess of my wooden box that I'm going to try to clean. Um, so I'm going to put him back. But thanks for watching. I'm not going to do a daily updates on these, this litter, but I will do um, at least one more update video um, as they mature. Maybe, maybe more than one. We'll see. Don't forget to uh, check out my website, MrMiceGuy.com. Like, uh, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Check out Instagram at MrMiceGuy. And um, I will see you in a future video.